It's been a long and lonely trip, but I'm glad I took it, cause it was well worth it. Got to read a couple books and do some research before I reached my verdict. Never thought that I was perfect, always thought that I had a purpose. And I used to wonder if I'd live to see my first kiss. The most difficult thing that I did was recite my own words at a service, realizing the person I was addressing probably wasn't looking down from heaven. Cooking up something in a hell's kitchen, trying to listen in or eavesdrop from some other dimension. It was self-serving, just like this is. Conveniently religious, on Easter Sunday and on Christmas. The television went from being a babysitter to a mistress. Technology made it easy for us to stay in touch while keeping a distance. So we just stay distant and never touch. Now all we do is text too much. I don't remember much from my youth, maybe my memory is repressed. Or I just spent too much time wondering if I'd live to have sex. I fell in love for the first time in fourth grade, but I didn't have the courage to talk to her. In eighth grade, I wrote the note and slipped it in somebody else's locker. Considered killing myself because of that. It was a big deal. It was a blown cover. It was over for me. My goose was cooked. Stick a fork in me. The jig is up. Blew my chances. The rest is history. Our future was torn asunder. It became abundantly clear I was only brought here to suffer. At least I didn't include my name. Thankfully, I wrote the whole note in code, and it had ten layers of scotch tape safety seal, making it impossible to open. Plus, it was set to self-destruct. Whoever read it probably died laughing. I wonder if they lived long enough to realize what happened. A year later, I came to understand that wasn't love that I was feeling for her. I had someone else to obsess over. I was older, and I was very mature. I forged my time signature while practicing my parents' autograph because I was failing math. Disconnected the phone when I thought the teacher would call my home. Checked the mailbox twice a day at the end of a long dirt road. Steamed open a couple envelopes like I was in private detective mode. If you snoop around long enough for something in particular, you're guaranteed to find it. For better or worse, that's how I learned it's best to just keep some things private. It was the best of times. The end of times. It was the best of times. It was the end of times. It was the best of times. It was the end of times. Best of times. The end of times. I was always on deck. I was next in line. An only child with a pen and pad, writing a list of things I could never have. Walls in my house were paper thin. Every squabble seemed to get deafening. My memory served me correctly and made it a point to avoid and forget some things. Proudly to keep from being embarrassed. Never meant to upset or give grief to my parents. Kept my secrets, hidden my talents in my head. Never under the mattress. Therapy couldn't break me. Never learned a word that would ensure safety. So I spoke softly and I tiptoed off. And the door to my room was like a big old coffin. The way that it creaked when I closed it shut. Anxiety's peak when it opened up. As if everything that I was thinking would be exposed. I still sleep fully clothed. It was business as usual, heaven, it was hell Used to wonder if I lived to see 12 When I did, I figured that I was immortal Loved to dance, but couldn't make it to the form Couldn't bear watching my imaginary girlfriend Bust a move with any other dudes Tone look was talking about a wild thing But I was still caught up in some child things Scared of a god who couldn't spare the rod It was clearly a brimstone and fire thing Pyromaniac, kleptomaniac Couldn't explain my desire to steal that fire Now I add it to my rider like please don't please